Welcome, baby, once again to the Men of Yoshiwara Kikuya Edition. I am your host, your courtesan, Bradley Overrated. <laughs> okay, I can't even keep a straight face. <laughs> That's right, guys. I am finally reviewing this game that I played a while back, the Men of Yoshiwara. As reviewed on the Nintendo Switch, and I've got to tell you, Oh, this game's not very good. <laughs> I mean, they give you a lot of content, which is nice. You have a prologue, you have your main story, you can continue from where you left off, you can do sub-stories, you can re-watch your opening movie, you can change your name. I played as Sneezy Anus, who was this woman who ends up stumbling into this place called Kikuya where are all these male courtesans and if you don't know a courtesan is basically a very high class prostitute and she discovers her long lost best friend when she was growing up type of guy blah 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 you can take a guess here so it's it's pretty cheesy the whole story itself just makes you want to slightly puke the whole time you go through it and part of the reason for that is the dialogue the dialogue is pretty uh it's pretty special and the thing that makes it even worse is the grammatical errors that occur as you play the game you know i understand this concept this game has more series apparently the men of yoshiwara is actually relatively popular in japan but when they translated this over to english some of the grammar got lost in the way commas are misplaced, words are spelled incorrectly, they'll use, for example, there incorrectly, where it's supposed to be T-H-E-R-E, -E, they'll use T-H-E-I-R, so, and those type of things, while they seem small and insignificant, it will throw you off, because you're trying to get into the story and kind of laugh along with it, but that stuff will take you out of the story every time. But the nice thing about this game is if you, for example, were going along and you missed some of the things that were said, you can go back, you can jump to it so you can catch up on everything. And also, the main story doesn't have to be just one story. There are actually different options. You essentially get to choose your lover. I chose the stereotypical my lost best friend who ended up being a courtesan here at Kikuya. But you can choose other people like Takao, for instance, here. And there's a, like five or six other people on top of that so you can go back and at least the replay value if you're into this type of game is really high because you can always see what different endings you can get i was also surprised by just that the fact that this game was rated m it's rated m for sexual themes and you know as i played this game i was thinking maybe it'll get a little bit raunchy but it doesn't even when you get to that point of when you have sex you're gonna be let down because the cringe is so bad and when it tries to describe that sensual moment it doesn't show any nudity by the way it just makes you want to facepalm because of how cringy it is man it is terrible <laughs> I laugh just thinking about how bad it was but in all seriousness this game really doesn't succeed if this is supposed to be a game that like gets people excited I don't know how you could get excited from this game it just doesn't do that. And to say this game is rated M, man, no way. At, at ve very best, it's rated T for Teen, and even then it's almost not even that, it feels like. It's just not that. It's so calm, and there's nothing raunchy, and there's no language, and there's only suggestive themes, but even then you can barely pick out the fact that they're prostitutes because they use a different term, and it's not an M-rated game is what I'm trying to get across. Alright, let's give the men of Yoshiwara Kikuya now a letter score, and I give A being the best thing ever. Spoiler alert, this game's not that. I also can give an F being the worst game ever, and you should stay away from it. Believe it or not, I'm not giving this game an F. I am going to give this game a D minus. Because while this game fails in almost everything it tries to do, and the dialogue's awful, and it's cheesy, and it's cringe, and it's not raunchy, and it's just kind of boring in a lot of ways. There is a lot of replay value here, for one. You can, like I said, if you're into this type of game and you think this is something you're interested in, you're gonna have hours and hours upon content going back and seeing what the different scenarios are. But the reason why I give it a D- is because it made me laugh a lot. 
despite how bad the game was, it was almost one of those it's so bad, it's good type of games. And so for that, I give it a D minus. Do I recommend playing it? No, I don't. Do I recommend you watch my Let's Play of it? No, I don't. But I'm still going to give it a D minus. And if you're really interested, you can check it out. It is $20, which is a pretty steep price to pay for essentially no play. See what I did there? And yeah, <laughs> this game. All right, guys, that wraps up my review of the men of Yoshiwara Kikuya. Be sure to leave a comment down below. What did you think of what you've seen in this game? And to let me know if there's a game you would like me to review. As always, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell if you want supposedly updates, which I heard that's just a myth these days because YouTube loves to screw content creators. I personally don't care. It's not like I'm dying here for uh, subscribers or money or monetization, you know, all 33 subscribers from when I made this video. But as always, I am Bradley Overrated and I do appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch my videos. I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys on the next episode of whatever it is that I do. Take care.